In Madison County, it's estimated that there are 10,000 children in need of child care while parents are at work, but there are only 6,000 spots at licensed child care providers. And so as many parents will tell you, this means finding child care can sometimes start before you're even expecting. News 19's Emily Mosner brings us details on initiatives aimed at expanding the availability and lowering the cost. This is important to me because I understand what parents have to go through. Um, somebody might not get the opportunity to chase their dreams and work because of child care. Quentin Young is the home ownership coordinator for the Huntsville Housing Authority, but he was also at one time a single dad juggling work and raising kids. Having to figure out who's not going to get paid or what bill's going to be late because I could pay child, I need to pay child care. He says in addition to the cost of child care, many parents struggle with finding providers. Now, the Huntsville Housing Authority and the Heart of the Valley YMCA CA are each receiving a $50,000 grant to focus on training efforts for new child care workers and addressing child care openings. Those grants were announced on Monday as part of a larger effort in Madison County to expand child care availability. Now the Chamber of Commerce also announced a separate grant program focused on home based options. The establishment of four new in home family child care centers. Each of those have a capacity for up to six children. And we'll also look to support 12 existing family child care programs. The chamber says this isn't a solution, but it's a strong start. Alabama House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels says the state legislature is looking at legislation that would offer incentives for employers to provide on-site child care for their employees. This piece of legislation will, will, will be the, the, the number one piece or the foundation to really seeing the state of Alabama move forward in a more progressive way. Daniel says there are plans to reintroduce that legislation during the 2024 session. Reporting in Huntsville, Emily Mosner, News 19. The funding from the Huntsville Housing Authority and YMC grants came from the Community Foundation of Greater Huntsville Women's Philanthropy Society. The group says it wants to focus its philanthropic efforts this year on solutions to systemic problems facing women and families.